We must remain positive, stand behind our team, and be strong. We cannot concentrate on the negatives. I'm sure you've heard by now that Burrow is out for the season, torn ligament in his hand. We're going to dive into that today. This is shocking for everyone. It's disappointing news. Nobody wants to hear something like this happening. You know, it's part of the game. It's unfortunate. It is what happens, and it is what happened. Unfortunately, Burrow has been plagued with some weird injuries throughout his entire career so far, including his appendix bursting, which is just a bizarre way to start a season. Sad news. Um, in that Ravens game, you know, there's lots of things that we can point to. The officiating, the line didn't look that good. Maybe the defense could have stepped up. And we've got to really, as, an, as, as a fan base, as a team, as an organization, we need to take a step back. We need to stop concentrating on the negatives of those kinds of things. Could the line have been better? Sure. But that's been the story for the past four years. Could the defense have played better? Sure. But it's a solid defense. We were playing an extremely good team in the Ravens. And Burrow going down was a heartbreaking blow for everyone. Us fans were reacting so poorly. You, that's the leader on the team. The team's going to react. So you'd hope that the defense could have possibly done better. But they didn't do a terrible job either. The officiating was also bad. But if the officiating was better, we still didn't win that game. So we could talk about officiating being bad because it is throughout the entire NFL on a different day. I'd love to talk about it. But for right now, we're talking about the Bengals as a team and moving forward. As a fan base, we need to encourage our team now. We need to stand behind Jake Browning, who did an admirable job in that game. He was escaping pressure like crazy. There were several plays where three Ravens were coming onto him, grabbing at him, hitting his leg, grabbing his arm, and he escaped the pressure and got passes out. He got a nice pass right out of bounds, right where it needed to be, with no chance of a penalty, not going to be intercepted. It was safe. It was a safe ball. He played absolutely excellently, and we need to stand behind him, and we need to make sure that our team going forward is going to do great. We're not out of this yet. We got five wins. The AFC is wide open at this point. You know, the Browns and Steelers are about to play on Sunday. They both have six wins. You know, we're not winning the division at this point, but those are the two hottest spots in the playoffs, and Deshaun Watson's out as well. And the Steelers don't look all that good this year. They could easily drop out. You got the Bills not looking that good this year. I'll tell you what. With Browning, with us having a top-tier receiving core. We are absolutely still in this. When we went to the Super Bowl in 2021, nobody believed in us the entire year, despite being good. Well, why Why does this have to be any different? We're still going to stand by our team. We're still going to be there. We are still going to make a run at it. And we will have Jake Browning under the helm. We need to remember too, the 2020 season. I think people have incorrect optics looking backwards on it often. We had Burrow then. He got his leg destroyed in week 11. Little coincidental that week 11, leg destroyed, and now week 11 gets a ligament tear out for the season ending both times in week 11. The difference, though, in 2020, we had two wins and one tie going into week 11. Then we had Ryan Finley come out, and we got two more wins in the last six games with Finley under the helm. And I consider Browning significantly better than Finley was from what we've seen in his first ever real NFL play. That was the first time he's ever been on the NFL field in a real way. He got one pass out in the Browns game this season. Okay, he played great. And he is definitely better than Finley. I can stand behind him. And Finley, with our team that we had there under Zach Taylor, we got our first win since 2015 over the Steelers. You know, we weren't the team that we are now. The line was absolutely terrible back then. We still complain about it now, but it's so much better. We, we, we are so much better of a team at this point in time. There's no reason to think we still can't make a run at it. Is it going to be an uphill climb? Yes. Are there still problems on the team? Yes. Is Browning as good of a quarterback as Joe Burrow? Probably not. You've got to consider, in this league right now, there are several teams without their starting quarterbacks. The Cardinals just got Murray back, and Dobbs is doing great for the Vikings right now, and Cleveland could have had him, but they traded him in the beginning. We have Browning, who, from what he displayed, there's no way we should be down on ourselves for the future of the season. Browning should be able to do a great job with an amazing receiving core. We can get it done still. The team is still complete. Joe Burrow in his press conference today was full confidence 
optimistic, and he has full belief in Jake Browning himself. I believe in that. We're going to have Burrow on the sideline, telling him what to do, helping him get better, helping him be the best quarterback that he can, helping him get some of that ice in his veins. So again, who day nation to the entire Bengals organization. We are still in it. We need to be positive. We need to build our team up. We need to encourage our team. We cannot concentrate on the negatives. We cannot concentrate on, oh, the offensive line could be better. That's been true for so long. And now we're going to hit on it? No. We are going to be confident. We're going to encourage our team. And then the line will do better because that energy will be sent to them. They will see all the love coming in them in comments and everyone cheering, and we're going to show up, and we are going to lose our minds for every game. I know I'm still going to lose my mind for every game. Are you kidding me? I'll still be here streaming them, and I will be as excited as ever as I watch those games. I believe in the team. I believe we can still do it, and we are still in it. We must remain positive, stand behind our team, and be strong. We cannot concentrate on the negatives. Okay, we lost to the Ravens. That's happened before. We're not out of it. The officiating was bad. Fantastic. It's bad all the time in all kinds of games. We just need to move forward. Concentrating on these negatives. Talking about, oh, we need to fire someone. No, we don't. Because of a fluke injury that tore a ligament? These problems can still be addressed and we can still talk about them, but we don't need to be terribly negative about it. This is absolutely heartbreaking to lose Burrow, but we're still here. We're still who day. We are still the Bengals, and we will continue to prove ourselves. We will still continue through this season, and watch out because you will still see us in the playoffs.